You already know it's your boy Vitamin Diddy. I'm kicking it with Cuddy right now. Follow my Cuddy season. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Kami from Cups and Convos. I'm kicking it here with Cuddy. Make sure you follow him on Cuddy season. You're. <laughs> You're. You're. You already know what time it is, man. She got Cuddy Rex, man. Cuddy season on Instagram. Kicking it, Cuddy. Another episode. I got my guys here, man. I like these guys. I'm very fond of these guys. Feel me? You might have seen them on the internet, on YouTube, right along with me. Give it up for my brothers, Kami and Paul, from Cups of Combos, and all the other stuff they got going on. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Introduce yourselves, man. Talk to the people, man. Um, you already know Paul, one of the co-creators of Cups of Combos, mm-hmm. hottest show in New York City, biggest game night in the world right now, Burr. Yes, my man always says it for me, so I ain't got to say it. My name is Kami. We here, co-creator Cups and Combos, created a vibe, created a movement. That's what y'all got to join. Yeah, these these brothers brought, brought me gifts and everything, man. Y'all, y'all zoom on the camera, man. Look, man, I got cups. Love is love. Combos. There's two cups, too. <laughs> so when Shorty come over, she makes exactly. feel a part of it. Got a t-shirt, man. Thank y'all, man. No problem. Appreci- y'all brothers, Appreciate man. you. Thank you was there man. from the beginning, man. Yo, I was on one of the episodes. I don't know if y'all seen me on there. I was, I was on there. <laughs> feel me? But yeah, man, y'all been rocking, bro. Just Let's let's start from the beginning, man. How did, how did y'all even get to that? Because the, that was the first of that kind I've ever been to. I mean, I'm fresh in the industry, but yeah. y'all are brand, like, this is our stuff, this is where we at. How did y'all start doing that? Like, it's It was a collaborative effect. Like, literally, we used to go out every single night, bro, to the point where people thought we lived outside. What? Like, I'm serious. Like, it, it, it was it was routine. You know how you got to call your boys, be like, yo, yo, what you doing? It wasn't like that. It's like, yeah, I'll be there at six. Yeah. <laughs> and y'all, y'all already knew what just, it was. Just mobbing. Yeah. What y'all was doing? Going to the clubs, lounges? Clubs, lounges, parties, out whatever. to eat. Yeah. yeah. Everything, out. just out. Outside, yeah. yeah. So what kept happening is when we would end up at bars, you know, we conversing with people, like, Obviously, we get smacked at some point. So then, <laughs> so now we're, <laughs> yeah. so now we're all like, be him and our co-creator, Jai, we would sit there, be debated hard. It would look like we're arguing, but we're not. We're good. Yeah. So no. we're just like, nah, nah. And then eventually somebody would be like, I overheard what you're saying. I think. And then all of a sudden we just grab, gravitate, yeah. people gravitate to us or we gravitate onto other people. Sometimes we hear people talking and we would just interject and be like, uh, it sounds a little crazy. So then conversations would just flow. But at the end, well, not the end, in the middle of most conversations, we just realized there was a big conversation barrier when it came to just people's thoughts about relationships and how they handle certain situations. And every time we'd have conversations, the people that we're conversing with, they start up here. Because, you know, when you believe something or you're you're adamant about something, it's like, no, this is this. And after bouncing off of me, Jahaya, and Diddy, all of a sudden, they're down here. Or now they're talking to you. It's yeah. Like at you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, bro. We, mm-hmm. Exactly. Fact, I mean, I see. I guess I could. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that. after I've that, seen it like that. After that, like after like just nights of that, one day, boy, just is like, yo, we do this every night. We should make it a show. Uh, this drunk guy over here, he's the worst. But once he heard that, he like sobered up. He's like, y'all serious? Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm in the middle, like. What? What just happened? And then he's like, no, for real. If y'all serious, we're going to do this. Like, I got the camera. We got the studio. The idea's here. We got this. Right, yeah. And yeah. literally, that was like a Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, we filmed our first episode. Wow. Yeah, the pilot, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Just yeah, like yeah. That. How, how I felt like the concept was dope. I felt like it was yeah. something anybody could relate to. Right, and it's unique. It's not nothing, really, nothing that's happening right now. And on top of that, I've watched TV, and I feel like, bro, there's no, like, really great shows, like, that, you know, had that conversation. Like, maybe back in the 90s, I used to see shows with that vibe. Yeah. And that was just, like, all, like, reality, reality regular. Yeah, yeah, so it's really dope. Just a refreshing, just a different, different type of show. I mean, yeah. it's a different setup. I mean... Yeah, because every time, it's like the same conversations we all have with each other all the time. Right. So sometimes I'll say something and they'll be like, yo, that's crazy. That'd be crazy if, and then we bring in a whole bunch of different scenarios. But it's funny hearing it from different people, not just us, because we all have like funny notations about how we'd handle certain situations or what we think. Right, right. So now when we ask multiple people, like you've been there, you see like we ask you multiple questions 
and you like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yo. And uh, you know, it's on the spot, so you don't get no time to prepare. for You don't it, so. think they don't give you no script, yo? Yeah. Everybody at home with <laughs> yeah. you end up on this show. Just know what y'all getting yourself into. It ain't no script. It ain't no. We about to tell y'all. First of all, they gonna sit you in a in a big studio with mad people, and it's a lot of girls. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of girls. Yes. They're gonna get you drunk. <laughs> and they're gonna feed you, and you're gonna forget you're there to do anything. You're gonna just be in there macking, I'm like, wait, what are we here for again? And I'm like, oh yeah, you, come on. And I'm like, wait, what? And then now you're recording, and you just you got so comfortable. Yeah. Now it's like, oh, I'm on the spot, and now it's like, yeah. So you sending dick pics? Oh, whoa, wait, whoa. <laughs> I mean, I did, but wait, hold on. Yeah, it's crazy, y'all. Like the show is is a crazy setup, man. What kind of shows did y'all watch growing up that kind of gave y'all like? inspirational ideas or just well, well it's kind of it's kind of crazy because um like in 2011 i had an idea for a show that ended up kind of being like guy code so i felt like wow, i love that show I, yeah I, that show was lit to me yeah. so it's like i felt like we took elements of that and then you know like brought our own spin yeah, to it or whatever, I, could, so. I, could, I could feel that and that's why another reason the part i was happy to be on it because i love shows like that or shows like on true tv oh that yeah talk yeah. about like the 2000s or something and mm -hmm. it's like Everybody that's a part of the culture get their little two cents. Yeah, man, yeah. That's, that's mad fun, man. Everybody so, get their voice out. Yeah, exactly. Famous. And that's the platform we bring into the table because a lot of people, they get to tweet, they get to like make memes, but they don't really get to voice their opinion. Right. So we're bringing a collective where people can have a safe space and just talk. Yeah. Like, just talk. Because a lot of people get misinterpreted online, <laughs> me, all the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. I'm getting bashed. Like they, they're not, Trolled. yeah, they're not ready, like to listen anything past the 180, because the 180 usually isn't enough. They, they'll read it and they be like, ah, but I think this is such and such. But a lot of times, I encourage people to come out to Cubs and Convos because if you feel like you out debate me, do it on camera. Mm. Because if you're gonna do it on camera, now it's like, oh, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Now if I look stupid, it's gonna be on YouTube. Right. <laughs> I don't suggest. Y'all to try it, but I mean, hey, if you want to debate with them on camera, hit the hit the link and y'all could. Cause good luck. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> good luck. You think if, if you think I'm bad, my boy Jahaya, worst. Oh, he's God. the best and the worst at the same time. Yeah, you gotta yeah. come with facts for him. Yeah, facts. you gotta have, you you gotta gotta have literal numbers, yeah, paperwork, definitions, or words. Yeah, because you don't want to you don't want to be the guy saying a word and the man says def define it and you can't. Yeah, you don't you don't want that happening on camera because nah, a lot really of people don't. a lot of people fake the funk. They try to like uh, sound smarter than they are, and they really can't spell that shit. You know? <laughs> no, spell. I'm, no, I'm not gonna hold you. I don't need to spell nothing. Yeah, I'm not gonna hold you. Spelling is disrespectful. Ooh, Definitions. Okay. I feel like you should know the definition of a word at least. At least if you're gonna use it, but spelling can spelling get tricky. Can get, it could, yo. It, it can get so <laughs> off the wall. Yeah. Like sound it out. N -n Pneumonia. Psychic. Yeah. Like, -A like what? Oh, what? What are you talking about? Yeah. All right, that's a fact, man. So now putting the show together, just the the background that people don't see. What kind of work are, are do we have here? Like I'm saying, like the sit, putting the set together. Getting the, the team together, like what kind of, how much work does that entail? It's a lot of work, man. Yeah, because we have a, we have a small staff. Um, it's it's like just uh, close friends and family, like literally my family yeah. involved. Mm -hmm. So, um, right now we all trying to grow the staff, but it is a big production, especially the game nights, which is the biggest one in America, the world actually. Um, it's a big mm -hmm. production, and we only have eight people on staff. So oh, eight people, y'all yeah. hiring? <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, it's it's cool. Like, everybody who's a part of the Cups and Combo staff is here for the love, bro. Like, yeah. they got, want I, you feel that, Cups too. to succeed. And right. there's a lot of people be like, yo, can I get down? We know why they want to get down. Like you said, there's a lot of women that come up to Cups and Combos. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> it is. Yo, first of all, I want to thank y'all brothers again because there's a lot of them that I'm right. still in contact with. Oh, oh that's course. good. That's yeah. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, yes. uh, there's a lot. <laughs> again, if y'all even just want to just go on, just go check it out. I ain't going to say too much. Yeah. But, yeah, like you were saying, a lot of people want to go for, you know, other reasons. Aesthetics. They want to show people that they're working. They go in the green room. We working, y'all. Or we lit. Yeah. We lit. You see what's like, going on. And it ain't doing nothing, really. They didn't really. do nothing all day. And it's like, all right, okay, you know, we, we prefer to have people who are, you know, entrepreneurs, people who are doing things, people who actually have an opinion. Right. So it's the same, like, even when I hit you up and I was like, yo, I want you to be on the show. Like, I've seen your stuff. 
like I see your vibe, I see your energy. I'm like, oh, yeah, I would he definitely want you on the show. Right. Same thing with P. He'll hit people, be like, yo, she would be great for the show. I'm like, who? He's showing me, like, oh, she mad funny. Yeah. Like, we prefer that, not just anybody. Because some people just want to say they was part of it. Right. Right. And that, that's not what it's all I about. Look for, I look for personality because you need, like, really strong opinions. Like, you know, that's yeah. going to bring the, 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 the entertainment value to the show. Right. So I, I usually look for, like, people who are, like, funny. Like, funny, like, edgy funny or, like, just funny overall. Because I feel like he'll look for the serious motherfuckers and I'll look for, like, you know, the, the more funny people to, like, balance everything out. Because you need some intellectual talk. Yeah, like, you do. It you is do. A, a big mixture of people in it. Like, yo, y'all really just have to go. Just go to their game night. The, the mixture of people is is really crazy. Like, yeah. you'll have somebody that you wouldn't even expect to be in a room with. They're cool. Everybody's yeah. cool. And that's, how, and that's how the game night came about because the game night is really just a mixer. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm, okay, and the okay. games are like icebreakers, but they've grown so much now that it's like, a, it's literally like a big time vibe. Like, it's just a big vibe now. So, like you said, you'd be playing Uno with somebody who are. Who are verified artists and you don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and like, yeah. what do you do? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I'm a lawyer. What yeah, <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah, yeah. We, we the age range was so crazy. Like you have like like 18, 19 year olds, you know, they can't drink. But you know Obviously. But um you'll have like 18, 19 year olds and you I, we done had ladies in there that were like 54, 55. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And she had the time of her life, yeah. like mm-hmm. time of her yeah. life, saying like, yeah. I'm coming back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I went in there though. Like, it's it's a, it's a great vibe, it's great people. Y'all provide a lot of food, pizza. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Who's saying no to that? Exactly. <laughs> you know I mean? Like, our pitch, like, every time I tell people the pitch for Cousin Cousin is game night, they be like, you got a great motherfucking sale pitch. Because it's like, all right, come out, enjoy yourself. They be like, what games you got? Name a game. Yeah, I, I challenge you, you right yeah, now, right. even name a game. And I'll tell you if we have it at Cousin Cousin or not. And then most of the time, they be like, they say this, they say that. I'm like, yeah, I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And then when I show them the recap, they're like, wow, you guys have it. Everything. Yeah, come but, on down. <laughs> but that's the point. We're trying to provide a safe space where people could come, enjoy themselves, have a drink, and play probably games they ain't played in a long time, games they've never played before. And like you said, meet people that you would never run into. Because uh, take that draw four. I hate you. Hate you too. At the end, of, what's your name? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's a literally. Fact, though. Every single time. Now, has anything ever had to get out of hand? Because I know people get competitive with these games. Uno, especially Uno, has things gotten out of nah, hand where nah. it got to be like the vibe. The vibe, the vibe is different, yeah, and yeah. a lot of the people who try to create their own game nights, they just can't. Cre- they can't create their own vibe. So that vibe is like unique to us, and that's what makes us different from everybody else. Because you go in there, you go enjoy yourself. I, I, I ain't really see nobody leave and be like, ah man, it was all right. yeah, <laughs> like every person who's been there, like it's like now nah, it sets it up for game nights. In general, like now they go to somebody's crib, they're like, it ain't the same. Yeah, yeah. The a lot of people do try the game night thing of course. and go over there, and it's just like, trust me, that's not we, there. We, we, there are people who come to our game oh, nights yeah. just try to, <laughs> yeah, that they, they try really to, like, know. you know, I'm serious. they do their research and then they try to do their remember, own stuff. And remember, you got asked for the password to come to come to game, come to Convo's game night, so I get to see your social media. Mm-hmm. I've seen people who throw Cubs and Convo's game night, I'm a cup game nights, and they be like, oh, yeah. No, before. Okay, okay. They already do it, and they want to come. They'll pay to come to ours because just to, everyone is like, just damn. Just Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. But uh, the budget's not big enough. So <laughs> to, so. You definitely need a budget. Yeah. yeah, you do. Because we put, not only, it's not saying that we rich on anything, nothing like that. We broke. We always say that every podcast. <laughs> but the thing is, we put our all, we put everything into it. There were times we did game nights, and it was like, me and him are sweating. Yeah. Nobody's there yet. We're sweating because we're like, yo, we need to make our money back. We done spent so much. We, we're we good with just breaking even because we're providing the vibe. And it's a passion, too. It's not just yeah. like something you're just plainly doing all yeah. the business. Yeah, it's yeah. like, as long as it's a success... And we make money back, mm-hmm. I'll be content. You know what yeah, I mean? but because it's the same way when we said we used to go out every night. It was like, damn, why are we going out every every weekend when we could just... We are the vibe. Everywhere we go is lit. Man, so I was going to... Which y'all in, in sight thought y'all was going to the vibe. Y'all was really providing it. Yeah, y'all yeah. Was showing up really exactly. Good. So he's like, all right, let's just curate it where we're here. And then everybody come to us. And then it's just calm and cool and collective. And then now... You got the biggest game night in, in the world. I love that, man. So where do y'all expect to go? Like, what do y'all do now? Like, y'all got game night. Y'all have the show going. Like, I know y'all have some 
some big plans. Of course, we want to take it on the road, man. Because oh, because everybody's beautiful. always hitting the DMs asking us to come to their city. Every yeah, because not time. listen on the whole country that's looking for vibes like that. Yeah, and then and I'm gonna be talking from New York. And people yeah. do these game nights, exactly. and this is like supposed to be like the where all the vibes is at, all the cool people. Yeah. So now imagine you going to like Texas or yeah. somewhere like that. No shade to Texas, but they don't <laughs> have the vibe we got. Yeah, yeah. So Facts. now y'all bring that over there. It's like mind blowing. Like, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. And Texas women love New York, man. Yeah, anyway. I heard that. They love us everywhere, man. That's true, except for New York. Right? Why the hell does that work? <laughs> yeah, like it doesn't. That doesn't make any sense. I know. You go anywhere else. Like, I've, li- the last time I went to Texas, I remember I went to a restaurant, took my ID. As soon as they went in the back, I was not too far from the kitchen. I'm sitting there, and the girl's like, he's from New York. Oh I'm like, <laughs> yo, like, is that easy out there? But out here, yo, it's good. No. Right. And they're they not trying to hear you. They're not trying to fuck you with you. Dinner? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, you buying dinner? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that sound like New York. Yeah. That's I, mean, I know, I know be- the vibe. Beggarly, <laughs> beggarly vaginas are rampant out here. That's it. Yeah, it's crazy out here, bro. <laughs> you ain't see that. You ain't see that tweet where a girl sent her address to a stranger to send a five piece to a crib. A five piece. Yes, bro. She she was saying she was hungry, and he said, "Yo, what's your address?" And he went to Wingstop, got a five piece, and brought it to her crib. What, He's what, a borough, bozo. what borough does He's that a happen bozo. in? Because like, first I'm not doing that. No, that was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> never doing that. Never, bro. Now, what's some of the craziest? That some things you're never doing. What's some of the craziest things y'all seen on y'all set or at y'all game night? Mm, craziest? Something like that y'all talked about the next day, maybe the next week. Um, yeah, usually, usually just, just girls that I can't ever get, you know, coming through. Yeah, and I'm uh-huh. always like, Damn, you seen number? You remember show? Oh man. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Now you here? Trying to play Uno? <laughs> right. I, I be focused, man. I be trying to focus. stay away. What, what? Yeah, yeah. Yo, what's up? What's up, bro? See, he like he he know you. He know Yo, you. I, mean, fun, so. I just I listen. I stay behind the bar, do my thing, make sure the game is right, make sure everybody's good. Like I just want everyone to have a good time. That's it. That's absolutely. what I want. Because yeah, some some women are there for ulterior motives, but I ain't on that type of time. Listen, I be, I'm I'm at the front, so I'm always handling people for when they front, come you in. Front, you front line. Yeah, and they be coming. At, We're Kami. Kami here. I'm yeah, like, oh, right at man. that ball there, girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put, put it right out of here. Right under the bus. Nah, yeah. I ain't mad at that, man. Yeah. Y'all doing what y'all supposed to do, man. Y'all providing vibes for New York City, man. We loving it, man. I can't wait to come back. What, what you, I told you, always good. Yeah. I told you, whenever All you right, want to come look, back, you good. I told you that. I'm going to be on the lookout. Because yeah. I, I really just like that setting of just like people vibing, debates. Yeah. It's, it's both the best of both worlds because what's different between the guy code and your show is that it was all, you know, everybody's doing a confessional. Yeah, separate. Yeah, yeah. But y'all get together. Exactly. Yeah. And now y'all got to Yo, listen, I'm telling y'all a lot about the show. Make sure y'all go check it out, man. Check the check the episodes out. Look it up. Y'all already on YouTube. Yeah. While you're here, type in Cups of Combo right up there. Big facts. You know I mean? Word. So what else could we be looking forward from y'all, y'all brothers, man? What's um, going on? Well, we're working more so um, trying to bring more events. Okay. We've had a... Um, a uh, like a pilot um, date night um, mixer Ooh. as well. It was okay. it was dope, and I was I honestly wasn't there for it. P handled it, and I heard great reviews. Yeah, yeah, we did our first private um speed dating because I feel like that's nice. a niche in our community like yeah. that no one like really does like and dominates. I feel like we've already started dominating the game. Like I feel like now the next social aspect is like the speed dating portion. Yeah. Beautiful. So I feel like um like you said we already did it. We're going to package it up. We just got to figure out the venue situation or whatever. And then we're going to have the biggest speed dating situation in New York City. Yeah, they're trying to take over all the different networking and um, the, the the kickback like situations. They're taking over everything. So yeah. y'all better hop on something before they take I'm over. I'm telling y'all now. So, uh, yeah, Cups and Cabos is going to be the biggest social experiment, social Ooh. experiments uh, experience you've ever seen. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, because it doesn't stop with us. You know, even it, on, ha- it hasn't. <laughs> even on the car ride here. I'm sitting there brainstorming. I bounce things off of him all the time. Like, I can call him at 3 o'clock in the morning. He's going to pick up. Like, yo, bro, and, good. Yeah, no, and... I just got a good idea. <laughs> yeah. I thought, like, yo, fam. Yeah, boy, facts, yeah. man. Always got to think forward. Mm-hmm. All right. And then we just we just help each other out. Like, he will he can see things I won't. He can see and he'll understand something I might not be looking at because I'm just so hyped. And then I come down. We break it down. 
we spoke, we, then we speak to my man Jahai. Like we just try to bring it like to a whole collective and then give it to the people. Because at the same time, it's like when you're in your crib and you want to go out, and you want to do stuff. It's like you want something, but you don't know. Right. Man. So now we give it to you. And you're not sure. You know you're going out there for something, but you don't really. No. You just like y'all. Just want to. Good time. And then y'all come to y'all and it's all here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. And yeah. we've been, you know, networking with a whole bunch of other people who got yeah. their own stuff going on. So Absolutely. we try always try to network sideways. I know everybody will, always want to network up, mm-hmm. like to the motherfuckers like Diddy. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Jay, you like, gotta cross promote. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be on people who coming up with you at the same time. Like, cause I, these are the people that. that's gonna be riding with you. Like, Absolutely. cause they got they hungry too. So Absolutely, I love it. And I tell people that all the time. I just I look forward to when we're. Up where Diddy's at, exactly. we can talk about these. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, remember that time when? Mm. Yo, remember that time when? Yeah. We was at the, I, I'm looking forward to war that. stories, man. Yeah, yeah I'm looking forward yeah. to the war stories, bro. When we get to you know that level that we want to mm-hmm. get to, I, I'm looking forward to talking about. Yeah, remember when we ordered four pizzas? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. Like five pizzas, and we was in the studio. Now we look where we at. We're yeah. in LA. We in the mm-hmm. hills somewhere, man. I'm loving that. Before y'all leave, I want to ask y'all, y'all TV guys, man. This is a, a revamp happening right now. For the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, which I think you heard about it. Revamp. I did hear about it. They're trying to make like, like a whole that, like a movie out of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And it's uh, it's like you gotta see the, the trailer, but what yeah. y'all think about that? I don't like them doing anything that's classic over. I don't like no part twos or shit that's classic. I don't like none of that stuff. Like me personally. Nah, I have yet I to see like. a part two or anything that was like, oh wow, it was as good as the first one. I'll give you some time to think of I don't know any. Listen, part two is better. Maybe I, next Friday. I don't know. I'm I'm biased. Maybe though. next Friday is better than the first one to me. Look, look at look at how they did. How high? Oh man! Look at, look at how they did oh, it. That hurt. I could have even watched all of it. Yeah. Trash. Yeah. Oh, you wasted brain cells watching yeah. that. I watched like a good couple minutes. I, I seen the trailer and I was like, Yeah, nah, the this trailer's ain't enough. This ain't first it. off, the fact that your your one of your stars doesn't even smoke weed. <laughs> you had to CGI weed <laughs> smoke from his mouth. That's intense. Yeah, that's that's, that's too much. That was gonna be the next one. I was going from Fresh Prince to that. That's bad. Yeah, it's horrible. So it's, oh, like man. I kind of agree with him. Like if it's if it's a classic, leave it like that. Right. Come up with something else. The problem is they running out of ideas. Yeah, no, that's the problem. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, no, that's just because they don't have enough of us. There. That is a fact too. They don't have enough, and then they don't want to pay us. Nah, so you know, they want to use the ideas and yeah. But, oh, I think, yo, I got an idea. <laughs> yeah. Yo, man, what about me? Like, I was chilling in the hood the other day, right? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, <laughs> right. That's how it goes. So, because because they've tried to to imitate it with their own stories and try to put their spin on it because they see they think they've seen enough black, they have enough black friends. You know, they can Do try, but it doesn't ever really go off. Nah, so, Bella, Fresh Prince of Bella is a dub. Yeah. Uh, how high two is a dub? Yeah. Oh, super. What about now? We're gonna go to a game show. They're talking about um Double Dare. They've been doing Double Dare. They revamped it and brought that back. What y'all think about that? Double Dare. What's the first one? What was the first one? Double Dare. You don't remember on Nickelodeon? They used to like oh, slime people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they could uh, bring that. Yeah, back. Yeah, that's not as like. And there was no do, real um, face. Figure it out. I think I feel, you know what? I feel like too. I feel like game shows a little different because okay. game show isn't like. Isn't like structured like a, a, a cast and like you're gonna see the same people over and over. Like game shows a little different. Yeah. Cause so. it's, it's, it's bringing it back. It's not really revamping it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. When you bring it back and you like just put it out again, it's not really as bad as trying to replace characters. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, it gets, like it who gets gonna intense. play Will Smith? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. or, what do you see the, the trailer? What do you see <laughs> the trailer? <laughs> like, yeah, who gonna, like, see, I don't, I don't like that. See, like something like Fear Factor, cause we was talking about it the other day. Uh, I, I fuck with Fear Factor. I like that show too. It, it's just right. that they need to, there needs to be a limit. Like, like, we brought that two back with yeah. Ludacris. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the celebrity yeah. joint. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's cool. That that's that cool, but there's a limit. Don't try to feed Paul Scrotum. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. don't stop that. Like, yeah, when they... Right. I, I, I forgot who was telling me. Like, um, they canceled it after someone, like, had to drink semen. Like, uh, some animal oh, semen. I was man. like, oh, nah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's too much. So, hold on, I got an even better question then. Do you think, like, if a movie has too long of a gap... And they make the next version. Do you think that's like a dub too? Because they making Bad Boys well, Three. 
you want to take and it off. Will Smith and, and, and Martin, they like in their fifties. Yeah, I think they should have. Ch- I think they should have chilled with that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't. I haven't seen anything on it, but to me, I feel like when you take too long, like I think they don't rush out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like when you taking too long of a gap between them, I feel like I don't like no last Friday trying to come out with that. Oh man, everybody's old now. So yeah, like, and I don't know if y'all seen Avatar. They coming out with four more. Four, four more. more. Yeah, yeah, what? Right, we good on that. Yeah. Yeah. In the world. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need that, but what we do need more of is cups and combos. You already and know. Some game fact. nights. Of course. That's a fact. Hey, where, where can everybody find out your information? Uh, sign up for a game night, sign up for a show. Where well, you? first, you got to follow the page. Follow the page on Instagram. C U P S, the letter N, convos. Now, once you follow us, stay tuned. Reach out to us as soon as we post for the next game night. You can get the link and password, and you gooch. Uh, you know what I mean? And then there's a YouTube. We're trying to get YouTube subscribers to 10,000. Y'all got to help us out. Um, it'll help us push more content out because, you know, YouTube will start fucking with the kids. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, once you once you follow us, you subscribe to us, you'll see everything. Turn on our post notifications. We do not spam anyone. Yeah. Let y'all know. Yeah. We do not spam no one. So you turn on the post notification. You're the first. And if you're the first, you might get a free ticket. You know what I mean? Just be on it. You just got to be yeah. on it. All right, man. I can respect that. And it's, it sounds pretty simple. Like, why wouldn't y'all do that, man? Follow the cut the show, Cups and Convos, the page and all of that. Mm-hmm. What else? Where else could we find y'all? Instagram, I mean, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter Instagram, facts. YouTube. Like, that's where Facebook, we are right now. Facebook. Facebook yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where we at. So, um, it's cool. It's calm. Like, we here. It's We're not vibe, going anywhere. Nah. We're just only going to get bigger. Facts. So, I mean, the only place we going is uh, is up. the other, yeah, other, mm. t- other states, other yeah. countries. That's yeah. where it's going. Yeah, yeah man. because they, like you said, they're always asking us to come out, and we're just pacing ourselves. We a lot of people rush. Like I, we want to do it all. Yeah. He knows. I, right. I, I call, missed the reality check. Yeah, like, so hold I'm, on, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm a logistics think guy. About like, this. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah so, you always need those guys in the, in the <laughs> yeah, but, too. But that's what the team is for. Right. You know, that's what the team is for. So I always respect it. I respect everyone's input as long as it's not disrespectful. All right, can't be that. All right, my, my brothers, thank y'all for coming through, man. One more time, y'all want to shout each other, y'all Instagrams out? Or, I mean, um, Vitamin Diddy on um on IG and Twitter. That's the only things I'll be on. So Yeah, I mean, same with me. Um, Instagram is L-E-K-U. K A M I, <laughs> because you almost, you almost, no, you almost lost you. Right? No. <laughs> you know why? Because my Twitter just got suspended, oh, so yeah, I started yeah, thinking yeah. about my Twitter. Yeah, yeah. So my Twitter you suspended. You know what? All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, how you spell it one more time? Sorry. So L E K U R O K A M I. That's on Instagram, and I usually post my Twitter on my Instagram, like my tweets. So okay. you'll probably see it. But just follow me on Instagram. That's that's where I'll be at. Let's start there. Yeah, mm-hmm. start there. All right, my guys, man. Thank y'all for coming through, man. You already know, man. You yeah, already bro. know. I All appreciate right. y'all. Appreciate yeah. the merch. Of course. I love mean, I'm looking love. forward. Next time y'all see us on YouTube, I'm going to be at a game night or on one of the episodes. Of course. You feel me? Yeah. Yo, it's Cuddy Rex. I'm here, man. We out of here. You're... Yep. Remember, sport is free. <laughs>